how to install your swing arm bushings. Let's get into this one. Revelator Alpha. Hello, welcome to Revelator Alpha. I hope you're all well. I'm gonna make this a very quick video. This is all about how to install your bushings, uh, your swing arm bushings, uh, when they're a pressure fit. So not bearings per se, these are actual uh, bushings. And the, uh, the swing arm basically is slightly smaller than the bushing itself. So basically you have to heat this up uh, in order for it to go in. But the only way you're going to be able to get this in is if you have some kind of threaded bar to pull it across. So I'm going to show you exactly how I'm doing it uh, and then you can just do this all yourself. So basically what you want to do first of all, the uh, the housing, the swing arm, you want to deburr it first of all. I'm not saying make it bigger but make sure it's nice and clean in there. Also a bit of uh, copper grease in there as well. Also on the uh, the bearing or the bushing as well, put some copper grease on that. Right, next thing uh, is to get a long threaded bar. I've basically got a, a coil spring compressor bar um, with the two uh, ends here, threaded it through, have a big nut or something like that that is bigger than the swing arm on one side, lots of washers, whatever. You can do it on the other side and then you basically make sure that when you're pressing the, uh, the, the bushing, in this case, uh, whatever face you've got, the nut is actually bigger than the bushing and it's bigger than the swing arm, so you're not gonna damage anything. And what you basically need to do is just turn it uh, turn it and it pulls it in very gradually so copper grease the bushing copper grease um, the uh, swing arm as well heat it up as well it doesn't have to be for a long time of heating just so this heats up substantially so that you can push this in i've virtually got this in now i'll just show you the last little bit so uh you know you'll have an idea so what i'll do i'll just put it on here and quickly show you what i'm doing right Heat it up. So the next thing, you just basically just get your uh, ratchet span on one end and it's just something to hold the other end in place as well. Make sure that your nut or whatever you've got facing is square and true as well. So I'll do that first. Make sure not to burn your fingers as you're touching the hot swing arm. Right, it's starting to pull it in now. And you can virtually see now that it's closed the gap. The, the uh, bushing is virtually all the way in. Let me just uh, show you. Right there. A couple more turns and this will be good. There you go, done. And then all you need to do is just unwind everything and away you go. So that's how you put in your bushings uh, into your swing arm when they're a pressure fit. Your bushings are always gonna have to be bigger, slightly bigger than your uh, swing arm as well. That's what makes it a pressure fit. You just have to heat it up, have this threaded bar arrangement, whatever you've got lying around, just make sure it's thick bar. That's why using coil uh, compressor bars, I always think are pretty good as well. Right. Hope you found that useful. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell, like and share. Check out the website, revelatorhealth.com. Lots of videos of this Riju uh, Marathon 125 project build coming up. Ta-da.